Yo, what's up? Welcome to a video. It's been a while since I recorded a video, but um, I saw the end of the trailer and I kind of want to get my thoughts out on it. It looks really cool. Wanted to go through it with you guys and, um, of course, see what you think of it. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's have a look. Here is the trailer. Probably going to stop in between just to uh, pick out some things that I think are cool. Let's go. And TIE Fighters, the famous AK. I love this shot though. Like, I think uh, I've seen videos before where people were like, yo, an actual ship like that size shouldn't be that close, close to a planet. But um, they did it in Rogue One, so they're probably going to do it in the show as well. Plus, it looks really fucking cool though. I think it looks really cool. To steal from That's a cool shot. A whole mining facility right there. From the Empire. You just walk in like you belong. And you are walking in. They're so proud. I like this shot though. The Senate. It's really cool. And um there was like a picture on Twitter, probably throw it up somewhere after the, the video, but like uh how the Senate the Senate back then and the Senate now and I like that the Empire Sigil is beneath uh, the main, the main speaking area as a, as one of the changes to like the the Senate chamber. Like really cool. Proud of themselves, so fat and satisfied. So fat and they satisfied. Can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cool. Cassian Ander. <laughs> Cassian Ander. But like the creators from Rogue One, yes, doing a good job right now with this. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're oh, love the fucking what the 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 the, the, oh, the death troopers, the death troopers look really cool. They look so awesome. The first time I think for me seeing them, I think anybody though, but like in Rogue One, this is really cool. They got like their own aesthetic and everything. They're so different than the other stormtroopers. They are really fucking cool to look at. We're starting not to notice. Yeah, so this, I, I probably don't think so. Um, mainly because of some reasons, but I do think this could be Bracca, the planet that Cal Kestis came from. Um, but uh, I would hope so, but I really don't think we are going to get to see Cal Kestis in this show. Uh, just because, like, I think um, Jedi Fallen Order was, like, 10 years before this. I think. I'm not sure, though, like, the timeline. And I think that uh, Jedi Survivor, the new one that's coming out, is five years before this. So he, he isn't, like, on Bracca anymore at all. Um, but if this is Bracca, we might get some, like, Easter eggs or, like, some... Um, Little things about Calcastus that will be really cool. What I'm asking is this Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? To something real. The delay. I need all the heroes I can get. I love that, man. I can't remember the species name, but I really, really think this is such a. Ominous looking species, really cool with the, the breathing apparatus and everything. One thing I really like is the, the, the black and white X-Wing over here. I just, that looks so fucking cool, though. For the greater good. Of course. Call it what you will. Let's call it Saw Guerrero. War. I like that we get more and more stuff of Saw Guerrero, like we got him in Rogue One. We got him in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, we got him in the Bad Batch. And now we're getting him in this show again with the original actor, which is really, really cool. Uh, I just want to see, I, I kind of want to see way more of Saw Gerrera because he was like so radical, so different than the other rebels, but still, uh, like he thought he fought the good fight, right? That's, and yeah, I don't know. I think that's really interesting about his character. 
We already know what happens to him, but it's fermenting out know, there, so. We already know what happens to Andor. You're in my net. Awesome. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. Such so like cool shot as well. And like the sentence is like I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. And then, I know this is such a cool scene, though. I've just been hiding for too long. Uh, it's so simplistic, but I like it. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? What are you really doing, yeah? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Damn. Awesome. And a freaking three episode premiere. That's insane. Like we get three episodes right out of the batch, which is really cool. I'll probably let the video just uh, go over it one more time though, without sound, but I think it looks really cool. It's really awesome. I really like the music with this trailer because like they, um, the, the previous trailer, like one of the main things for me was like where, where, the Star Wars where, where all the aliens had and everything, but they made it up in this one. Um, plus like the music is so much more fitting in this trailer. Like there's some sentences in the previous one, like um, the one that's coming up right now. Um, so full of himself so fat, so fat and satisfied um it just comes over way better how they edited this and with the music and everything really really cool i i do hope um i know this is about ender and that storyline but it like that storyline is the exact same time i think as rebels so it would be really awesome to see some of the rebel crew um make an appearance in this show um, like an actual appearance, I would love that because um, from, I think the leaked uh, like videos from Ahsoka, you could see Hera already. Um, uh, Sabine has been cast, and I think like given not even all, but like one or two characters from from Rebels, an appearance in this show could be really cool. Uh, as I said before, I don't think we will see Cal Kestis. I would love to see Cal Kestis, but. Um, like what I said, Jedi Survivor is still set before this. And I I don't think that Respawn wants um, like them to, to mess with the character already in a timeline that like they're not sure what they're doing with him. We don't even know like how Jedi Survivor will end and um, are there gonna be spoilers and stuff like that? And do like if they would use him in the show, are they going to make changes to the character that like respawn has to abide by now because it needs to be in uh like canon uh so i don't think we will see calcasters at all maybe a mention would be really cool as i said maybe if it's a broca we can get like a mention or an easter egg to like calcasters which would be really awesome but um yeah I, I really hope to see like maybe some of the rebel crew or maybe ahsoka would be really cool just make a quick appearance somewhere which I'm not sure if like the rebel crew seems more um, fitting with the, the 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 type of show it is. And one thing that I would love to see is um, and or meeting K2SO. Like that would be really awesome. Uh, I'm also curious about like the Mon Mothma, um, like character development. You, you see it like pop up everywhere though which is really cool interesting character would really like to see more of how that like uh, evolves and um yeah like seeing Saul Guerrero as I said I, I really like that because I think it's an interesting character um maybe I want to go over it one more time with um with Le, Le Soundon Ah, like I think this shot was in the previous trailer as well. I don't really understand why people are complaining about it now that it looked too much like a AK or 
uh, AK 47 or 47 euro, what it is, but yeah, like, dude. Like, what's it called again? Like a bow caster? We have like crossbows in, 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 in this universe, so why not a weapon that looks like this? Actually, think it's like the weapon design is really cool, though, <laughs> to me, so yeah, why not? So in the I think in the teaser trailer you saw uh, a ship going down I think like crash landing uh on this planet so that must probably be before this happens and they just come to look at um like to search for that ship I guess Cuz you see like the tie fighters just um flying around and you have like uh uh three tie fighters over there and like three over here I like this shot as well, like really cool, really bleak and and gritty and ugh. It fits the show for my, uh, like, for what I feel it is already. Steal from the Empire? You just walk in like you belong. There's yeah, and also this shot. I, what I hope, though, is that we get maybe another E.T. cameo. It would be really awesome to get that E.T. cameo again, but... um. I just like how it is, um, like, I, I think I have it up, yeah, I have it up, yeah. just the difference in, like, color, um, like, it, it was a bit more warmer in episode three, and, like, it's, it's cold in Andor, which, for me, signifies, like, the, uh, the transition to the, uh, to the Empire, which is really cool. Sipping on their space coffees. I can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Uh, he's just infiltrated it, get which is really cool. Yeah, this this is I think like the 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 ship cutter uh, thing that we saw in Jedi Fallen Order as well. I do really wonder if this is Braca. Would be like it's a junkyard planet, so would make sense though. Let's call it. Yeah, saw man. <laughs> I love these back for the role. I really like him. Skip through it a bit, though. Still, it's like I think this might be a flashback a little bit because in the next scene he has way shorter hair. So cool. I don't like. I'm just not that knowledgeable, though. I think because I don't know what this ship is, but it looks really cool. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance. Oh. Oof. Let's go. Why does this this feel like a Ray Easter egg for some reason? I was like, dude, look again. I was like, is the Ray? No, man, can't be. It's, it's like, way this is way before that, though. Like, please, no. Yeah, really cool. September twenty twenty first, which is really awesome. I saw the Bespin Bulletin put like uh, his analysis on the Andor delay because it was coming like gonna come out sooner but what he basically said and i'm reading it out now i'll probably put it up on screen as well but its initial release date had it sandwiched between the two most anticipated shows of the year um to non-star wars fans like the house of dragon the house of the dragon i'm sorry though and rings of power and a ton of money has been spent on marketing those disney did not want another solo situation which I think he's basically right on, though. Um, they don't want to, like, fuck this up. Um, I, like, one thing, though, I've seen, like, a ton of stuff on the Rings of Power. I haven't seen, I think, anything on House of the Dragon, but I I didn't watch, like, any Game of Thrones, so I'm probably not there. Uh, 
their preferred uh, fan base, I guess. But yeah, I do think this is going to be an awesome show. Um, I, I, I kind of need it after Kenobi, which was uh, I, in ways a bit of a disappointment. Not in all ways, though, but like um, in, in ways it was like a bit a bit of a disappointment. And I do think that we are going to get like Rogue One fight from this um, with the... Um, with how good it's gonna be, I, I really like the um, the more darker tone to it, the more espionage, uh, political tone to it, instead of just like being Jedi and lightsabers all the time, which is like not a bad thing. But I think this also really fits well in that Star Wars narrative, uh, which is really really awesome, and I really like that as well. Um, I do think like if I'm not rewatching Episode One, Two, or Three, I, I, I'll definitely watch Rogue One. Uh, before anything else because i think it's a really really cool movie so yeah can't wait for this and like three episode premiere i'm gonna be fucking strapped in <laughs> um so yeah i'm excited about this trailer let me know what you think in the comments down below i would love to know what you think about this and if you're excited as well and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel I really appreciate it like this video and as i said please leave a comment because Apparently that helps out as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.